Hi guys, it's Fiverr, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make bowling alley bases, the same ones that I used on my 90s orcs. Let's get to it. you're going to need are some paint, some green stuff, a pair of scissors, and sticker paper with a bowling alley carpet design printed on it. You can just google bowling alley carpet, you'll find all kinds of designs. The first thing you're going to do is unsheath your scissors and use them to cut out a circle from the sticker paper. You want to err on the side of this being bigger than your base rather than smaller as it's way easier to just trim off the excess to make it fit. The next step is to take your orc off his temporary base and as you can see I made a horrible mistake when trying to snap mine off broke his leg off my orc was very mad he had to be sent to emergency surgery at the orc ICU and is going to be in recovery while we are finishing up this base don't worry though we have talented surgeons who know how to make an emergency application of plastic glue to salvage the patient so that he can play blood bowl again in the upcoming game We'll check back in on him when the base is done. So now you're going to test fit your sticker paper to your base. Uh, it's really easy to see if you have excess hanging off. You just kind of turn it around and see what isn't lining up. Go ahead and trim that off. Then once you've got a shape that you're happy with, you think it's about the right size, go ahead and peel the backing off your sticker paper and stick it down firmly on the base. If you want extra security, you could probably use some watered down PVA over the top of it just to secure it further. But I find that the sticker paper is strong enough on its own that I didn't feel like I had to do that. Next, just mix up a bit of green stuff. I just pinch it off. I don't really measure it. I know some people say that you need to to get the ratio right, but I've never noticed a problem. What you're going for here is kind of to flatten it out and then stretch it until you've got kind of a triangle point. You can see that once you've got that basic shape achieved, all you have to do is roll up the raggedy end into the crust of the pizza and you'll have a pretty decent shape with not a lot of effort. I'm by no means a sculptor. And then once you've got your pizza shape, you can go ahead and stick it down on your base. I find that a paintbrush, the back of a paintbrush with some water on it, just like dip it in, it helps to get it stuck down in a good position. And then once you've got it where you want it, roll up some tinier balls of green stuff and press them down into little pepperonis. Then we're going to be using the same painting techniques from my 90s orcs video to paint the pizza, starting out with a base coat of Tau Ochre Light Orange. Next we're going to mix Tau Ochre Light Orange and Army Painter's Moon Dust to create another cheesy color to cover most of the rest of the pizza. You just kind of want the Tau Ochre light orange to stay in some of the recesses and give it some depth. Once you've got that coat on top, you're going to take some Steel Legion drab and just quickly run it over the crust to differentiate it from the rest of the pizza. Then you're going to go in and highlight with some moon dust just on the most prominent parts of the pizza to give it that really nice cartoon cheese pizza look. After that, go ahead and grab scrag brown and dot the pepperonis on your pizza. You want to fill them all in with this color. Then you're going to go back and grab Mephiston red and add a couple of dots to each pepperoni. That gives it a sort of more realistic look with the way that pepperoni are in real life with all their little dapple spots. I don't know what they're called. But once that's done, uh, the only thing you have left to do is retrieve your injured orc from the ICU, put a little bit of super glue on his feet, and stick him down to his brand new base. That is all of the steps completed. Just 
want to thank you guys so much for watching. I got a couple of questions on how to do the base, so that is what I decided to make a video about. I am going to be starting another painting project soon, and I hope you guys will stick around to check it out. Do the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.